Hey folks, Chris from Maple Street Guitars here, and today we're going to take a look at another one of Fender's pedal offerings. In this video, the Pinwheel. This is Fender's rotary speaker simulator, and it's a really cool effect that uh, mimics three very popular rotary speakers. The Leslie 122, Leslie 145, and the Fender's own Vibratone. Uh, so we got a lot of cool sounds in here, a lot to digest. We're going to look at this pretty in depth, uh, as well as obviously hear how it sounds. So first we're going to talk about some of the basics of this pedal. Most notably, it's in a super rock solid enclosure. Uh, this is an enclosure that Fender's doing on their new pedals and I think it's absolutely great. Also another thing they're doing on these pedals that I adore. Uh, you have LEDs on every single knob so you're able to see where all the knobs are set which is wonderful. If you're a performing musician you're used to a dark stage, it's tough to see where your pedals are set. This helps that right away. Uh, we have lots of controls here, so we'll talk about these a little bit. We have uh, from top to bottom, left to right, we have drive. This controls a, uh, an internal drive circuit for the pedal. A lot of um, players like the sound of an overdriven Leslie cabinet, uh, so this can mimic that as opposed to using a separate overdrive pedal. I think it sounds a bit more natural and certainly truer to the sound of those original speakers. Uh, we have tone for the overall you know, tonal if you want a darker or brighter sound out of it. Also great for tuning the pedal maybe to different guitars or different amplifiers. Uh, then we have fast and slow. So what most people know about uh, rotary speaker sounds is they have two different settings. Your corral, which is your slower setting, and tremolo, which is your faster setting. So you're able to go back and forth between those two, and that's part of where you get some of those really cool textures that you hear on all those classical uh, recordings, either uh, from folks like Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Clapton and Cream, The Birds, The Beach Boys, the list really goes on and on. Um, so with this pedal, and you know, just like the actual speakers themselves, you're able to go back and forth between a slower speed, uh, which is generally a bit more subtle, kind of chorusy, a little bit of phase shifting. Uh, it adds a really cool texture to the sound, and then a faster speed, which is what I think most people tend to associate the rotary speaker sound with. Then the second row, we have a level control, pretty self-explanatory, controls the volume of the pedal. We have a ramp knob, which allows you to adjust the speed that it goes back and forth between the slow and fast speed. So this is really cool and again goes for that authentic kind of Leslie character where you're able to, you know, it, it takes a while for the fast speed to kick in or for it to break and slow down. So you're able to really dial that in to be as quick or as slow as you like. Um, then we have the mode switch here. So we have one, two, and three, modes one, two, and three. Mode one is based off of the Leslie 122, which is the original Leslie circuit. That to my ear seems to be kind of the most dramatic of the three. Um, certainly big, full, low end, and the, the top end shimmers quite a bit as well. Mode two is the Leslie 145, which is a bit more subtle, maybe a bit more useful uh, in a band context where you're not able to really have a dramatic sound. And then three is Fender's own Vibratone circuit. Most people know the Vibratone from Stevie Ray Vaughan's Cold Shot. Again, a really great rotary speaker sound. So you're able to switch between those two, do whichever one you like. And then lastly, we have a sensitivity control. One of the really cool features about this pedal um, is it has a dynamic aspect to it, if you'd like. So if you have the sensitivity dialed up, um, it will actually react to your envelope. So how hard you're hitting uh, the guitar, how much input you're putting into the pedal, in order to control the speed. So it's great for some really cool effects. I'll demonstrate where you can hit really hard and have a lot of you know fast effect that will slow down as the signal dies out. Also on the top, we have a switch here uh, to control. You can run this with an external foot switch or an expression pedal to control the rate and you can you know switch which of those options you're using. And also you have the dynamics control again for the sensitivity and the envelope function and lastly you're able to use this pedal for either guitar or keyboard so there's a lot going on on this pedal obviously it's important to hear how it sounds rotary speakers are based around an effect that we call the doppler effect this is something that you've certainly heard in practice um, but you may not know the terminology for it most people associate it with the sound of a siren say an ambulance or a cop car as it gets closer to you the pitch goes up and as it goes further away the pitch drops down slowly. 
So that's a Doppler effect. Donald Leslie was the creator of the original Leslie speaker, and he designed it in order to replicate the sound of a pipe organ or a theater organ. And it utilized two separate spinning speakers. You had a big speaker at the bottom in order to handle the bass frequencies, and then you had a treble horn in order to take care of the, you know, the higher treble frequencies. So those both rotated independently, and what you get from that is you get some instances of tremolo, so you have modulation of the amplitude or the volume of the sound. You also get some phase shifting as well as some pitch shifting as well. So I've always loved rotary speakers because it kind of combines all of the modulation effects into one unit that still feels natural. It doesn't seem like an effect that's artificial by any means. Um, it's just really cool. It's a hybrid of everything that, you know, Pink Floyd, the Beatles, Beach Boys, the list goes on and on. Certainly other people agreed with that. For today's demo, we're gonna hear this pedal used with a Strat, uh, in this instance, a Fender American Professional Stratocaster. This is one of the limited edition models with the all rosewood neck, desert sand, really, really cool guitar. And we're gonna be plugging into a Fender FSR Pro Junior amplifier. This particular one has a Jensen P10Q speaker in it. So one of the best functions of this pedal is that it has three different modes, three different rotary speaker cabinets, and each of those offer their own distinct sound. So we're going to take a look at each one, and we're going to start with the Leslie 122. Next we're going to take a listen to mode 2. This is based off of the Leslie 145 cabinet. As I mentioned, we're going to keep the knobs all the same so you can really hear the difference between the two different models. Now we're going to take a listen to mode 3. This is based off of Fender's Vibratone speaker. And again, different character, different sound. We're going to keep all the knobs in the same place so you can hear what the Vibratone has to offer compared to the two Leslie sounds. Now we're going to take a quick look at a couple other functions that this pedal has. Uh, first we're going to take a look at the drive control. So we'll be able to hear how introducing some drive can change the character of the effect as well as, again, give it a more realistic, authentic Leslie style experience. <laughs> Now 
Last but certainly not least, we're going to take a look at the dynamic functions that are offered on the pinwheel. You're able to use the envelope or the dynamics of your picking attack to control the speed of the pedal. Uh, this is an effect that I think is really useful, certainly expressive, um, and really good if you maybe don't want to use the foot switch to go between the fast and slow options as you pick harder. It'll be a faster speed, faster rate that slows down as you pick quieter or let the notes decay. This is really cool. I, uh, what I'm going to show is setting the ramp to a really slow rate so it takes a while for the, uh, the speaker to kick in. And then you'll hear how it kind of goes up and down in the rate as the envelope or the, uh, the note sustains. So that does it for today's demo of Fender's Pinwheel Pedal. I've been really impressed with this one, and it's a pedal that I've been excited about ever since they announced it. I feel like there's not a lot of companies that are doing an actual rotary speaker simulator. More companies are doing Univibe-style pedals, which are based off of the sound of the rotary speaker, but uh, there's nothing quite like the real thing. And though it's hard to get the sound of one of those giant cabinets, it's nice not having to lug the damn thing around. So having a little small you know, foot switch to get all that huge sound, I think it's a great trade-off. This one has lots of great functions. I'm sure it'll find a great place in your board. So until next time, I'm Chris over here at Maple Street Guitars. Be sure to follow us on the web on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. And of course, stop into the store here at 3199 Maple Drive in Atlanta, Georgia. We hope to see you soon. Until next time, see ya. <laughs>